All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol SNDL, Sundial Growers Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So, Sundial Growers Inc. here has actually been in a downward trend. It tried fighting back, getting over the 50 day moving average. It slightly broke through it last week, right? On the last day of the week and it only lasted for an hour and from that point forward it was in a downward trend now here we are again close to the 23 cent range now if it falls below 23 cents i mean the one of the lowest points recently was 23.58 and the next one was 23.81 if it falls below 23 cents like 23.00 like 23 cents on the dot this will be on its way to newer lows but it has been fighting to stay above that. So even though this ups and downs and so forth, you can kind of see that it hasn't went any lower in a dramatic way, which is actually a good sign of this holding itself up. I know that it's not going crazy upwards, but the movement is pretty much sideways. It's been going sideways for some time, probably around since November 17th, slightly the 16th, but on the 17th, it all started and it's just been going sideways. You can just see that and it kind of rose up and it just landed back around those numbers from the 17th. Now, the question is, will this break through newer lows? And the question we need to pay close attention to is, will it break 23 cents? Well, before getting there, it has some support levels to break through, which we're going to look at one of the nearest ones right now based off the chart and also our resistance level and i'm going to talk about some resistance levels on the way up as well to get closer to the 50-day moving average and above it so let's look at our new points of reference here based off the chart currently the bears have been dominating this and probably one of the most important resistance levels from this whole entire trajectory of the downward direction leading on to today is 2688 it's the highest point before it fell and actually one of the highest points where it was fighting to stay above the 50-day moving average and started to fall so 2688 is very important for the next coming days and weeks so keep that number in mind now now our resistance level is the highest point before this continued to fall because here you could see it was pretty steep and there's a few resistance levels before reaching this one on the way down, right? And before going up to 2688, as you see it going in the downward direction. And I'm going to talk about one more resistance level apart from this one. But this is the highest point before this continued to fall into bearish direction. So you're going to want to pay close attention here to what's going on based off these numbers and also the 50 day moving average and the resistance level I'm about to talk about. So the 50 day moving average is 2532. I'd write that down. Super important number. 2532 is the point of reference that lets us know if we're below the 50 day moving average in bearish territory or if we're above it and we're in bullish territory. Now, the first resistance level once the bulls can break through 2532 is 25 95 they need to break through that to pull away from the 50-day moving average and start to work their way up to newer highs and new resistance levels so i want every single investor to keep that in mind if the 50-day moving average does get broken through this is the next point to pay close attention to so this can continue to work its way up now here we are below the 50-day moving average sitting at 24.12 and the lowest point of the day was 2401. Now, if 2401 gets broken through, you still want to pay very close attention to how the stock is reacting. And you have that window between 2401, 2480, and then 2460, which are some of the lowest points reached previously from the previous days of last week. And those are the lowest points from the whole entire bearish run. To pay close attention to because if those points do get broken through you're going to want to pay close attention to the behavior between 2401 
and 2380. And then if 2380 gets broken through the behavior between 2380 and 2360. Now, if 2360 gets broken through, you have a big gap between 2360 and 23 cents to see how it's reacting. Are the bulls even trying to reappear in any of those sections? Now, if 23 cents gets broken through, this could start to see newer lows. And then we need to pay very close attention to how it's reacting on that day because the next uh, support level after that is way down at the 18 cent mark and we need to pay more close attention to how it reacted throughout that day but right now the most important support level is 2401 i want to emphasize that to all investors pay very close attention to how the stock is reacting if it breaks through 2401 how quickly is it moving to newer lows or are the bulls trying to reappear now on the other sector of things where the bulls actually want to cross and start to work their way up closer to the 50 day moving average is 2475. That's our resistance level, the highest point before continuing to fall. And if 2475 gets broken through, this needs to be turned into a support so that the bulls can continue to work their way up. Now, 2475 does not mean that the bulls gained control or took over the chart. This is just the beginning catalyst and an indicator for us as investors to know where this is heading. And if this gets broken through and turned into a support, the bulls are getting one step closer to the 50 day moving average to get back into bullish territory. So you're going to want to still monitor how this is reacting. But 2475, I want to emphasize that does not mean that the bulls have gained control. I want every single investor to be aware of that. This is just the beginning catalyst to start to work its way up. So 2475 gets broken through, turn into a support, and the bulls are on their way to probably reaching newer highs and getting closer to their goal to get back into bullish territory, which is breaking the 50-day moving average and breaking above it. But as always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's gonna be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened and I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets. On these dates, the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here. And I break it down into more detail in the video. But just to summarize it, on these dates, the S&P 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it may not seem like a lot but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits these are profits and like i always say profits are profits whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back two dollars you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with that's what it's all about and also in the video i go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose like for example this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 3511 and the highest point reached was 3557 that's like a 40 point jump and here we're seeing the same thing it went down to 3588 and it rose up to about i'd say let's see this is all still in the same day it rose up to about a total amount of 36.23 when you do the math that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this now i'm not there to guarantee you profits i'm not there to tell you to buy sell or hold anything in particular i'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses you have to do your due diligence and research but these charts and the dates speak for themselves i mean this was probably one of the largest jumps that i've seen in the last couple of pumps and it was down here at 3302 
and it rose up to about 33.88. That was an 80 point jump. There was probably ticker symbols rising up more than three dollars per share on those dates, and even on these dates, there's individual ticker symbols rising more than three dollars per share. Check it out, see for yourselves. And my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.